Kanye, what'd you say to Kim? She's freaking out. I said, I am not allowing my daughter. Yeah, my granddaughter. Yeah. To be used by TikTok, to be used mm-hmm. by Disney. Uh, uh, Hulu Plus. But right now. Oh, there's a fly on the screen, happy. Kanye. Yeah, you got it. Are you happy? Because you seem kind of bound up. When was your last bowel movement? Uh, this morning at 10 a.m. Okay, so you're regular. That's good, yeah. I would just take a moment with God, you know, and... God, I just need to protect... No, I didn't mean now. Oh, my ch- you protect the children. You t- I know our nannies, some of them are Christian. You touch them, please, God, that today, a little and have problematic. them bring my children hey, to hey, Sunday hey, service this like morning. Seconds. I hate the fuck off the this devil yeah. ain't gonna win. No way, baby. You know what I'm saying? This is gaslighting. Mm-hmm. Kim gaslighting, gets yeah. black people out of prison. You know who puts black people in prison? The person that the boyfriend has a tattoo of. Hillary. Hey, Yeezy. It's me, Jeezy. Listen, um, you're killing my dad with all these prayers. It's just, I don't know if you watch the news, but there's a lot going on, and we really can't step in every time Pete Davidson bangs somebody's ex-wife. The kid's milk bait. What can I say? They see him. I guess he looks not done, and they like want to put him inside them and finish baking him or something. I don't know. It is what it is. Anyway, just please keep one or two of your thoughts to yourself. That would be great. I love you. Peace out. Oh, and Caitlin, your penis says hello. Oh, my God. I don't believe it. He is white. I shoot my show alone in my house. Along with my stupid dog. If you think well, your show looks like shit. Yeah, baby. Again, it worked to me. They said I was too offensive. Good evening and welcome to At Home with Sly Stallone. Starring me, Sylvester Stallone, and my good friend Kirk, who lives in my converted garage. And now it's time for At Home with Sly Stallone. You know? Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to At Home with Sly Stallone. Everybody's having a good time. Weekend's creeping up on us real fast. Monty Cortando just became a member. So things can't be so bad in the world, right? Let's bring in our little Kirby Kirk. Another member here. Ooh. Nana Fliskata is how it's pronounced. That's big and curb. Hey, Kirby, <laughs> how you doing? Hey, Sly. How are what you? What are you? I'm in Where San are Diego. you? That's not the garage. No, I'm in San Diego. I'm at uh, Amer- Great American Comedy Club on uh, for this weekend. So. Can't be that great. Keithernet. What do you see? You've gone. You've left town again to do your thing, huh? Is that right? I told you I was on the going. night of, on the night of the show. I brought. Oh, hold on. Your oh no, thank you. We're set. We don't need Kirby. No Kirk tonight, guys, because he doesn't care, so why should we care about Kirk? Look at my delts today. Huge. Huge delts. We don't need Kirk. We have a good time without him. I don't need no one. But let me let me bring this other guy in. Hey, what, hey, yeah. listen, you, you're going to be Kirk tonight, all right? You're Kirk, too. Even uh, more I... Kirk, you know? <laughs> Um, really? I mean, you think yeah. I... All right. How about that? Uh, well, Curb not... 2. Yeah. Judgment Curb. <laughs> Pretty cool, well, huh? Yeah, I mean... Curb 2. Reloaded Curb. <laughs> All well, right, congratulations. I just don't feel too comfortable. That's kind of Kurt's thing. and uh, No, rather... it's not. It's Curb is Sly and Curb. It's not his thing. You're the new Curb. All right? Can't you just call me John? No, that's not the thing. You know, it's, it's Batman and Robin. If Robin fires because he does too much, too much drugs and, and magic, then they bring in another guy. But it's not Batman and John. It's still Batman and Robin. Thank you, Arnold Guitar. All right, well, that? okay, yep. All right, let's do some yells. Come on, everybody. Let's start this show off right with our new Kerb. Come on. Let's get them yells out there. Come on, Kerb, too. Let's hear a yo. Yo. Yeah, that's a good yo. That's right better there. than Kirk One's yo's. I'll tell you that right now. Come on, let's yeah. see some yo's from around oh, the world. Mumble, Mumble, Mumble Slam, Slam has a yo. yo. Yeah, that's right, Kirk Two. That's right. Yeah. You've got Burmy Bratha got... has a yo. Look at that enthusiasm from Kirk Two. Yeah, Dan, yeah, Dan W has a yo. All right, let me do a couple. <laughs> okay. George Costanza does a curb. Mr. Monkey does a curb. Mr. Monkey's our friend. Of there, Cody does a curb. There's a rod for that friend. That curb. There's a tie to pack. There's a curb. I mean a yell. I got Kerp on the brains. 
Eight bit Andy has a yo. Hey guys, put your yo's downstairs under the video in the comments if you don't mind, because the YouTube algorithm is really up our butts. They do not like us. You know that? What was that? Whoa. Man? What was that? That was a crazy yo. There's a Bjornographic has a yo. Kerp's walking out of you like an old man walked out of Kerp. Boy, isn't that like life just to come around full circle? <laughs> it is. Everyone like leaves Kerp, then we then we he leaves us, and then we leave him one more time. All right, let's hey, hey. Yep. Hey, Kerp too. What you, let's get to know you a little bit. What what do you do you do drugs? Not really. I mean, every every once once when I'll have a toke at a party off of a joint, but really no. No, hardly ever. But that's all right. Kerb Kerb yeah. doesn't have to be the same guy. Right. Where do you live? Like a warehouse on the floor or something? No, I got a house. Um, yep. Actually, just paid it off, so that's cool. You what? You paid it off? Yeah. Jesus. All right. Well, look, we're gonna have a good time, anyways. One twenty-three dot forty-five. That is a very interesting number. Robin's fist is for more than punching. Wow. That's right. That's a reference to an old, old uh, Scalonian show, which you were not a part of, but that's all right. But now you are. All right. Hey, guess what? Well, guess what segment we're going to be doing next? Character. Okay, I'm pretty familiar, so pick you know me up. You know the show. Pick huh? me up. Pick nope. Me up. Not a pick me up. Different segment. Take another guess. My favorite. No, not a my favorite. We'll try one more time. Well, I mean, you're not going to do a guess my line because you've done like two weeks in a row and that'd be like overkill. Um, and now it's time for everybody's favorite family fun game, Guess My Line. Mr. Ed Edition. <laughs> we are doing Guess My Line. But it's well, different. Yeah. It's the Ed version. It's not Saved by the Bell or the Alf one. That got screwed up. That sounds fun. It is fun. It is different. All right. This is two dollars is towards Kerb's rehabilitation. You need to add several more zeros to that one. All right, here <laughs> we go. Let's let's get someone. Is we got someone here to play the game? I don't think we do. Now, hold on. Let me talk to this four-year-old. Is there no one here, baby? I forgot. Baby, baby forgot. We were gonna have I someone play that. for a T-shirt, but she is only. Are you four or five now? <laughs> she doesn't even know how old she is. Well, I mean, a lot of, a lot of babies probably don't yeah. know their their own age. Hey, so yeah. Yeah. should I have if somebody emails me right now? Yeah. Um, if you want to play the game, send us an yeah. email. Yeah. Let's just sit here for twenty minutes waiting. If jo wait, if John is Kerp two, can I be Kerp three? Franklin Sterling wants to be Kerp three. Well, let's just say uh, there might be. We might need a Kerp three. So yes, you may be Kerp three. Can I get I a yo mark. for my buddy Keith, who became a new dad? Wendell for Godfather? Yeah. All right. It's time to play the game now because we've done enough of this nonsense. Baby, we ready? Um, I say no. <laughs> well, I, I can just, play it. I, I can uh, play the we'll game. Let's play with you. And if someone comes in, if someone comes in, we'll, we'll let them join. We'll yeah. just do the first one with Gerb one or two. Very big a dinky. Very madinka linky. <laughs> Barry McKinka Link, but, I miss animals on animals. Oh, he's saying Don't we all? Barry my my dick in ya is what he was saying. Like, hey, my, watch it, Kerp too. It's a family right. show. All right, here we go. Let's do the first one. You Stallones, you play along with us and make sure you put everything down below in the comments. We really screw with that algorithm. All right, here all right. we go. Let's go. Let me hit this one more time. Hey, Sil. Yes. I, I think we might have somebody coming into play now. Okay, great. Look at that. Right. I guess life does work out. Maybe we could explain the game too, you know? That's a good idea. Go ahead, Dave. Okay, so I've watched it a couple weeks in a row, as I said. So I think it's that you, uh, you're you going to show the setup of a joke on a popular sitcom, in this case, Mr. Ed, and then they get to find out there will be choices and like four punchlines. One of them is real and the other ones are not. And they have to pick the The more you learn about. That's exactly right. Thank you, Eric Metzger. Mm -hmm. Any relation? Thank you, sir. Oh, that's interesting, yeah. Lloyd, Lloyd Christmas. Super stickers abound. All right, remember when that baby said there was someone right here? Yeah, I do remember that, yeah. That felt like a long time ago. If you ask your loan. I don't yeah. know. Sorry, I, 
I think they're coming. Okay, that's good enough. We'll just wait. Yep. Let's just, we're going to play the first one. They'll be here Let's for the, play the first two. one. That way they'll be able to know when they get here. No. All right, here we go. One, yeah. two, three, four, smash them like buttons. Yeah, if you could hit those like buttons, that'd be fantastic. We have someone here. All right, look at this. Where should we go here? Who's this? Sir, look at this. This guy looks like Clark Kent about to take off those glasses and fly away. You look like Superman. What's your name? <laughs> Matt. Matt, you look away. That means you made up your name. That's a lying thing Mr. Rouse told us about. All that left looks. Okay, you know how to play the game. Here we go. We're going to show you a Mr. Ed clip. Stallone, you put your, your, your guesses in the uh, comments there. Go ahead, baby. <laughs> oh, morning, Wilbur. Never mind that. I'm tired of you beating me to the morning paper. I like to read it with my eggs. I like to read it with my eggs. What do you think that horse says? Hey, why don't you do my impression of the horse? Uh, yes. Of course. Wilbur. Can, wait, Pretty can you good, do it right? again one more time? Wilbur. That's, that's not bad. That's actually surprisingly good. Yeah. All right. Let's look at the multiple choice. Put them up there, baby. Does the horse say, I like to read it with my eyes? <laughs> I like to read it with my hay. <laughs> Very funny. I prefer not to read the paper while eating another animal's children. Or is it D? I like to read it, then use it as a jizz rag. Uh. All right, Stallonians, put those guesses in. Hey, Superman, Clark Kent, what are you thinking? Yes. Talk it out. B. You think it's B? I like to read I it with my hay. What do you think, Curb 2? I think it's, I like to read it with my eyes. I think that's the I like to read it joke. with my eyes. Both very funny. Hey, baby, what is the Scalonians like? What's like the most? What's the Scalonian guess? Put a lot of Ds. A lot of Ds. D. Uh, a lot of Ds. The jizz rag. Okay. <laughs> I feel like that's not so much something from the 50s TV shows, but we never know. All right, let's see the answer. Oh, morning, Wilbur. Never mind that. I'm tired of you beating me to the morning paper. I like to read it with my eggs. I like to read it with my hay. All right, look nice at that. Nice job, Clark Kent. Clark Kent pulling it out. Guys from another planet, this guy. <laughs> yeah. All right. We didn't tell you, if you get two out of three, or is it three out of four, you win a It's Time for a Yo t-shirt. Right, Sweet. baby? Somebody said, is that Tony Robbins? <laughs> hey, you do look like our good friend Tony Robbins. That guy's pretty awesome. <laughs> All right, two out of three, I guess. You get the three out of there's three out of three four. Out of four. Of, three out of four. Fun. All right, so you need to get two more right to get your t-shirt. These right? are fun. Yeah. You excited about it? Thrilled. Look, he keeps turning the soup. All right, hey, here we go. Here's the next one, baby. Let's light it up. What's a cat gonna do with fifty thousand dollars? What is a cat gonna do with fifty thousand dollars? My goodness, that's a good setup. That's a great setup. Hey, hey, Clark, just take a guess at the punchline without seeing the the the, the ones we put up. Mm. What's a cat going to do with $50,000? Uh, I don't know. Mouse. Going to get some mi mice. Oh, get some that's... mice. All right. There we go. Someone <laughs> says, I don't think so. All right. Let's put up our guesses. Okay. What's a cat going to do with $50,000? Maybe go from a little, little box to a... a litter. I think that means litter box. Yeah, baby. She doesn't know how to spell Maybe Sorry. go from a litter box to a litter mansion. <laughs> Funny. Maybe buy nine more lives. <laughs> I love it. Well, he won't have to chase mice in his old age. That's kind of similar to Clark sure. Yep. Very similar. Get himself some more high-end pussy and do blow off its ass. <laughs> I feel like D isn't so much. I don't uh, think it's D. I don't know. I feel like we can... What does Clark People think? People do think it's D. Clark, what do you I think? think it's B. I think it's, think B. it's B. Nine more lives. Okay, very funny. All right, baby, what are we thinking here? Baby, what do the Stallonians say? Put your answers down below in the comments if you don't mind. Looks All like right. B is pretty popular. B is pretty popular. All right, let's show the answer. Survey says. Scott. What's a cat going to do with $50,000? Well, he won't have to chase mice in his old age. Ooh, 
I missed that one. Okay. Got to hurt. Got to hurt. <laughs> well, he's got one right and he's got one wrong, so well, he's got to get the, the next two right. Okay, we're <clears> going to show you the setup here. Let's do the next one. Come on. Let's go. Let's do it. All right. He fell off a tree. I don't know. What are the uh, get? What are the, the the things? So was he going? Was he trying to get his kite out of the tree? Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't know it. I don't I know didn't. it. I didn't know it was fall yet. <laughs> Boy, you're really branching out. Very funny. Is my kite okay? Well, I guess you're a fat piece of shit. <laughs> hey, guys, we're going to learn what the answer is right after this. Uh, gentlemen, have you ever thought to yourself, would someone please make a bra for my balls? Uh, well, someone has sheath underwear. God makes man, man makes sheath. Sheath destroys odors. But, but let me give you a closer look. Go, go, Quantum Jeff. Here I am in the belly of the beast. Look at that wonderful stretchy fabric. Cool to the touch. Absorbent. Yes. I do believe somebody is trying on this underwear. A Dangalosaurus Rex, if you will. Mm, I must go faster, Jeff. Uh, 33% off, promo code Kyle33. Uh, re remember, mm, support your balls, support the show. Mm, must go deeper into the quantum verse. Go, go, Jeff. Uh, she's underwear. Link below. I think there's some guy in my balls. I think we just lost another sponsor. <laughs> you know, they say do what you want, but I don't. I don't think they mean it. Anyway. I think that I think it was great. Yeah, it was great. I hope you all enjoyed it. All right, let's get to the answer here, baby. Light it up. Come on. <clears throat> wait, wait. What did you no, say no, your no. answer was? B. What, did you, what was your guess? B. B. What was B again? What, can baby? we look at those again? Boy, you're really branching out. Okay. Good guess. All right. What did the uh, Stallonians say for that one? D. Lots of they, B's and B's. Lots of D's. Bees okay. These fat pieces of shit is the Stallonians. <laughs> answer. Maybe they're right. Let's see if they're right. Let's see everybody says. Darn it. Boy, nice volume on that, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I could hardly hardly hear that one. He said, is my kite okay? You lost that again, Dave. Uh, this has got to be tough for you, knowing that you probably won't, you probably won't win your T-shirt. It's got to hurt you a lot. Well, what if he got one more right, and maybe he gets, you know, he could get like a... Yes. Maybe something. nothing. Those are the rules of the game. You, you don't like me? Just... All right, we'll give him to him if he gets... Do we have one more? Uh, we, I, think, I thought we had... All right, let's go. We got one more. All right, one more. If you get this, we're going to give you a T-shirt that says it's time for you. Here we go. Last night I went out and I spent $5 on you for these special mineral tablets. Supposed to be good for your coat. Come on. $5 was like $3,000 back then, by the way. All right, do you have any guesses for what the punchline is? No. All right, here, with the, here they are. No, thanks. I'm a horse, not a guinea pig. Okay, but they better taste like carrots. See, that, that one's funny because uh, horses like carrots. Yeah, we know that. Kerp, too. <laughs> oh my God. Starting to miss Kerp a little bit. Who do I look like? Judy Garland? She took a lot of pills. Last time I took a blue pill, I had to call a doctor after four hours because of my rock-hard horse cock. <laughs> Steve always feels like maybe that's not the right one, but you yeah. never know. Still always like it. B's and D's. All right, what's your guess, Clark? I'm going to go B again. B again. This is for all the marbles. What did the Scalonius say there, baby? They said D A lot again. of B's and D's. A lot of B's and D's. Scalonius says... Last night I went out and I spent $5 on you for these special mineral tablets. Supposed to be good for your coat. Come on. No, thanks. 
I'm a horse, not a guinea pig. Oh, oh you lost it. You lost oh. it. I'm sorry about that, Clark. Any final words? I think. We don't have time for that. You right. know what I mean? We've got a whole show. Yeah. yeah. But we do appreciate him playing. We gave him plenty of show. chances, you know? We did. We played that game for like two hours, it feels <laughs> like. All right. Let's do some baby news, huh? All right. And now it's time for baby news with me, lead anchor, baby Jessica. <laughs> Hi, um, this is Baby Jessica with Baby News. Uh, tonight's top story is cats are terrorizing the world. Cats are terrorizing the world? Is that happening? Yes. Happening. Really? I, okay. Cat pranks. Meow. Well, the couple was accused of throwing two cats like this one here out of their car and killing them. Now it's part of their sentence. This little guy's having fun, but now it's part of their sentence. The couple is going to have to come right here. Ooh, Cat pranks. Meow. Yeah, you know, I own cats, and uh, she said that this cat's just having fun when it's making that noise. If you ever hear a cat make that noise, let go. No, it's, Whatever you're it's doing. Getting- it's getting crazy. It's like a pandemic. Cat pranks. Meow. This is Shiva. I wrote her in today because I'm telling you she's a better person. Per- Cat pranks. Meow. Um. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so these are the stories, Kurt. This is the baby news. That is big. I was eye opening. What happened? Oh, important I, news. We're just like my Wi-Fi was bad here at the hotel. Oh, um, I had to fill in for you. I'm 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 the new Kerp at least for this show. Oh. I mean, not now that you're here, but you I, could be Kerp. My name was never that. You right, you're Kurt, Kurt yeah. not Kerp. I mean, that's fine. Is that what I think he was disappointed in my job as Kerp too. Well, well he didn't even let me me call myself John. So. In light of this cat news, he probably should focus on the bigger <laughs> picture. Well, I have some more cat news. Oh. Cat prank. Okay, that wasn't a cat though, right? (laughs) Right? Is the prank that it's not a cat? It was being catty. Oh. I I thought a cat set that up. Uh, oh. Sorry to uh, hey. interrupt the program. You get uh, contacts, Wendell? Oh, I forgot to put on my glasses. <laughs> I was wondering why everything was a little blurry. I thank you kindly. <laughs> and I won't take up too much of your time. I hate to be a naggy Nelly, but, well, it's been over a month, and I still haven't gotten those library books from you. Right, yeah. I, um, I, I probably should just pay you, dude, because I don't. I moved, and I'm pretty sure the building probably burned down. I don't think there's anything left. Probably oh, that would be it. a real shame, because the books are probably burned right up. Those are the first to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad you got out of there with uh, you're the skin of your teeth. Well, I, I, and, and Wendell, I'm. I, I told you, my wife and I are spring cleaning, so we are looking, and I'll let you know when we get them. Oh, well, when the flowers come. That's when we find things under sofas and stuff like that. So I appreciate you looking. I'll let you get back to your program. Okay. This is not the first production old Wendell ruined. So enjoy wait, the rest. Wait of a your minute, time. Wendell. I'm sorry, but what 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 was the first production you ever ruined? Well, when I was in high school, they were doing the play Into the Woods, and would you know it? That's the book I was reading. So I desperately wanted to be in that play. I didn't know how to sing and dance. So for my audition, I read a book. I read the history of theater. Didn't get the part, but about a week later, I I said to myself, Wendell, you can't sing and dance, but you can stand there. And there's a lot of trees in this performance. Perhaps you could ask the director if you could be a tree. Cut to opening night. Wow. That's great news. You got the part. Well, things took a little bit of a turn because 
at, towards the end of the first act, I saw the audience was looking at me. And I thought, maybe I'm doing a pretty good job. But then in intermission, they said, Wendell, did you know your mouth was bleeding profusely during the performance? And I said, well, kids, I'm sorry. I was so engrossed with your performances. I hadn't even noticed. I never even thought to voice in my mouth. <laughs> right. Right. That's where a lot of the problems come. Yes. Well, Thank and you things uh, when uh, they felt a little bad for me. So uh, they said, Wendell, would you like to take a bow with the leads tonight? And That's I was, nice. Yes, it was uh, quite nice of those kids. And I said, I would be honored. But when the uh, the lead actor, Steve DeBrud, who is the jock uh, quarterback, grabbed my hand, well, you could hear about 30 bones uh, crunching there, and it sort of toppled me forward, and I, I smacked my head, the fluid in my head sort of propelled me forward, and, well, cut to the ambulance, and Steve had felt horrible. He said, Wendell, would you like me to come to the hospital with you? And I said, Steve, no. <laughs> You go to the cast party. I have three friends that are coming with me to the hospital. A lion, a witch, and a wardrobe. Wow. <laughs> they, they're not friends in the book. All right. But yeah. Wendell, so this yeah. all happened because you <laughs> didn't moisten your mouth? Yes, I had forgotten to moisten my mouth because those kids were doing such a good job. Maybe everybody could... Uh, Noise in their mouth right now. Maybe we could have. It's an important thing to do. If you forget to do it, your mouth could bleed profusely. Do you like to all noise in your mouths? Yes, I, I would like it's to. Pretty moist mouth. already. All right. All right. All you gotta do is take your tug out and drop <clears throat> it low. You go ahead. And start noising your mouth. That's it. Good job, John. Now, you, there, you can put it out a little further, Kurt, if you like. <laughs> get, make sure you have Bjois in there. It's moist. The, the top and bottom. There you go. Well, there's a good Bjois in there. Listen, I'm sorry to interrupt. <laughs> you get back to your right, comedy well, program. We'll enough back. enough from old Wendell, right? Well, and we, don't forget. Yeah. Do have Bjois in your mouth. Okay. Well, I don't have a moistening um, problem. My mouth is too moist. Mm. I need to like dry my mouth. Well, yeah. I have uh, one one last news story. Oh, good. <laughs> um, on tonight's baby news, the last story: monkeys are sexually harassing women. Sexually harassing women? Mm -hmm. What kind? Like it, what kind of monkeys? Monkey watch. <laughs> 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 Monkey watch. I mean, that's not even harassment. But the thing is, is that there's the looking over the shoulder. I, I, it was the like, you're out in front of everybody. Why are you going? I mean, I right? don't know what he sees. Why? Yeah, why? this woman is a bed. Can you play that again just to see the look over the shoulder? Like, dude, you're in front of everybody. Is there a way to play it again? Oh no. Home Stallone is experiencing technical difficulties. But we are not down for the count. Please stand by. The rest of the show is a knockout. You know? What a crazy show, huh? It, well, yes, it was. Pretty nuts. Yeah, that's right. Well, I was getting interrupted by a bunch of nonsense. <laughs> All right, let's do a little diary. And then we'll get out of here. We got some after-party stuff going on, right, baby? We got after-party stuff going on today? What is it? Yes, we do. Um, well, we have, uh, if you join and become a member, we also have some custom emojis. And uh, <laughs> we're, and at the after party, we're going to be telling our worst date stories. Oh. So, uh, join and become a member and join us at the party. Also, don't forget to put in the comments, put your yo's in the comments below the video for the algorithms. Can't wait to see a, a baby's dating story. That should be interesting. <laughs> All right. Thank you, baby. Hey, Kerb2, yeah. you did a wonderful job. Really? Uh, thank you. Fantastic. All right. I'm really happy with you. Believe me. Okay. Thanks. All right. I'm trying to find my diary music. Sil. Yeah. Sil, uh, one more announcement. Yeah. 
Also, um, go to kyledunnigan.com to get um, tickets for shows. Who's that? Can't find my... Um, can't find my diary music. Oh, you saw so he's on tour right now. And um, go to kyledunnigan.com to get your tickets for Portland, San Francisco, Sacramento, San Diego, and Arizona. All right. Look at that. This is our diary music today. I apologize to everybody. Yeah, it's been a strange show. Definitely. Dear diary. Kerp too sucked. I miss Kerp one salty fish. Kerp two just didn't have it. You know what I'm saying, diary? When someone doesn't have it, whatever Kerp two had, it was the opposite of it. All right, that's our show. Let's go out with some yours. Look at this. Oh, look at this, Kerp two. Come on, everybody. Let's do some yours. Let's get out of here. Come on, everybody. Get them yells out there, Mr. Monkey. Yeah. <laughs> see you at the after party. Come on. Hugh Jorgen is a yo. Let's get these yells up there. Come on. Curb 2, get some yells going. Come on. I don't uh, know which a mumble going. slam says yeah. yo. Curb, curb, yo's need energy. Come on. Uh, Dan Murphy says yo. This group ain't energized. <laughs> Come on, baby. Step 27 is yo. yo. There you go. Come on, Curb 1. Be Curb 2. Trent no, Steele. No, 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 yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Come Greg on. Vlog Show, yo. Audio there you go. Yo, yo, All around the world. Come on. There's a yo.